let's open the SQL Server and now I will navigate to the firewall so we can see that allow Azure service resource to access the server is turned off so I will create a firewall rule which will turn it on so as we can see this command will create a firewall rule for this resource group for the SQL server and the firewall rule has name and has a start IB and the end IB as long as the start IB and the end IB all of them zero it means that allow the Azure resources to access the SQL server so let's execute that command and get back to the firewall let's refresh by going so as we can see now it's on where it has the database and copy the name of the SQL Azure remember because the virtual machine exists on Azure and we put the firewall rule to enable Azure resources so I can connect with that if the SQL management studio on my local machine I need to add my local machine IB as a firewall rule on Azure SQL then I will put here the username and password that I used to create the SQL logical server and then connect so this connecting the SQL management studio to Azure SQL server so I can navigate to the table and also see the to do we can see the columns I can also retrieve some field let's select the top records and we can see that it has the data again if I go for the SQL server for the firewall here is the place where I can put my local IP if I want to connect to the SQL server from on-premises machine 